Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Crown of Glory here. It's Davina here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pass your state board if you have a salon suite. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so the first thing you'll need is a sign. So my sign is right there. So you'll need a window decal for your sign. You want to have the name of your salon. The name of my salon is Crown of Glory. Um, it's actually Crown of Glory here at LLC. But I just shortened it to keep it nice and sweet and as you guys may see let me get a little closer i should go from the outside so excuse the noise but as you guys can see i have my design of crown of glory the crown and then i have my hours my phone number and my instagram page so yeah you definitely have to have your sign up in order for you to pass your exam so just make sure you get that before you go for your inspection or before your inspection date so that they won't fail you this is just simply a window decal very nicely done um yeah love it the next thing you'll need or something else that you'll need is a hamper so i just have my hamper that i had from my last salon and this is for soiled linen so anything like dirty towels dirty aprons dirty capes they will go in there and then you need a shampoo bow and a shampoo seat this comes with the suite you also want to have um you have to have an area for clean towels and also a dispensary so i use these two cabinets for my clean towels and um, my dispensary items like my shampoos and conditioners, treatments, color. If you have cotton with hazel, um, bandages, all of that needs to be in here. Well, it can be in here. I use this whole thing for all of that. So one side has my towels, then the other side has, um, you know, other things like that I just named, shampoo, conditioner, and all of that. You also will need a fire extinguisher depending on how far your suite is from the nearest fire extinguisher that's outside of your suite. The suite building that you're in, if you if you are in a suite, um, they have to have fire extinguishers outside of the suites um, in the building. But you might not be as close to one, so check out my next video if you want to see if you meet the requirements and how you can pass your fire inspection because you will have to pass and a fire inspection as well and you will also have to pass your health inspection the health inspection was really easy but um yeah you will have to pass three of those and i'm in union county new jersey the next thing that she'll need and you have to make sure that you have hot and cold running water if you're located in a suite then no worries that automatically comes with your suite so you don't have to worry about that but just make sure that the hot water is working though and if it's not for some reason you can just reach out to the manager okay something else you'll need is your price list so i just have my price list up here for now until i figure out where i want to put it but you have to have a price list with all of your prices it doesn't have every it doesn't have to have every last style that you do or every service that you do but you have to have a price list then you also want to have the notices up as well um so this comes with your shop license application when you print it out you want to frame it and put it up um you could put it however you want of course this is not going to stay like this but you have to have it somewhere where clients can see and people can see so yeah you have to have a salon station as well so make sure that your salon station is clean um, you want to have a hair dryer both um, a handheld hair dryer and a standing hair dryer um, your station something like that can be bigger can be different doesn't have to be like that you want to have um, a small trash can near your station like that like the one that i have and i have a trash bag in it you just want to make sure it's nice and clean and neat you want to have um each drawer lined with towels to be on the safe side i just use black towels and then you want to have your um implements that are inside nice and clean and organized you want to have um any combs or brushes organized anything that will go inside your drawers organized and lined and nice and clean make sure that it's free of hair and debris you also want to have an ultrasonic unit you have to have this in order to pass so you can have um 
the traditional ultrasonic unit that is very expensive. Um, I had got this from Sally's when I opened my first salon and I passed my first exam with it and I passed again here at the suite I'm in right now. Um, I passed it the first go around as well using this. So this can be used as an ultrasonic unit. This is really important. So I link this one in the um, description or one similar. You guys, if this is helping you guys out, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. It'll really help me out a lot, you know. I'm giving you guys free information, a lot of information that other stylists aren't going to give you. This ultrasonic unit, it will be linked in the description box and I'll try to link some other things as well. But this is really crucial. And you just make sure you have barbicide, your barbicide mixture in it. Um, and you can have some like implements in there. Um, you have to have a barbicide jar. So that's my barbicide jar. You want to fill it up with barbicide solution as well. So the mixture, the barbicide in the water mixture. And if you don't know how to properly make your barbicide, like if it's too little or too much, make sure you check out this video. So make sure you check out my video on how to properly make barbicide. Um, I'll leave it here and I'll leave it in the description so you guys can check that out because you don't want to be overusing barbicide because barbicide is expensive. Rather you get the barbicide brand or you get the Sally's brand or another brand that disinfecting solution can be pretty pricey pretty expensive so make sure you check out that video okay and also if you're loving this content you're loving this salon education make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment as well so yeah you need a standing dryer as well you need a mirror you have to have a mirror as well um so that your clients can see their hair um so yeah I have this mirror, I got it from Target, and I like it because um, it's very simple and minim minim minimalistic. I might put, like, some plant leaves around it in the future or even, like, flowers maybe. But I love it because um, it has that section right there where you can, um, it can hold products. Um, it's like a shelf, a shelf um, installed into a mirror. You can even put like little decor in, in it too, like a cute plant or cute flowers to make it look nice and pretty. But I just put my products in it. I found that it was um, helpful because a lot of times my um, products, they get all over the place when I didn't have this. So this really comes in handy because my products don't get as messy or in a disarray as much because like it's just, it's just staying in one place. Like that shelf helps it to stay in place. The only time it gets um, a messy is if I take it out of um, that. So I really like that because it cuts down, it cuts down the cleaning time and it keeps it from looking so messy. You have to have your styling chair as well. So if you have a salon suite, like um, at a traditional salon suite location like Phoenix or one of the other places, it comes with it. You have a spa or something else and you might not need a styling chair but anybody that's doing hair styling or braiding you will need a styling chair along with your styling station and some um some come with a styling station already mine didn't and um i just brung my um styling station that i already had in one of them and then you need a large trash can here all that stuff goes in here and the small trash can is really supposed to be for blood borne pathogens the thing you want to do for your state board examination and excuse these brushes don't have brushes out like this okay i have my brushes air drying um but another thing you want to do is have your licenses out so you won't have your shop license yet you have to wait so after you pass your inspection and then you'll receive it in the mail within a month but you want to have your um cosmetology license framed and out uh, whatever license that you have so if you're hairstyling you have a cosmetology license if you're if you have a spa or you're you're an esthetician then you have your esthetician license out um, from the state of New Jersey make sure that it's current and up to date because you will fail if your license isn't current or up to date 
all right you guys so i think that is all for this video i believe that i summed it up for what you will need to pass your state board exam for your salon suite if you guys have any more requests make sure you leave it in the comments and i will get that content out to you guys make sure to check out my other video that i'm filming today how to pass your fire inspection so you will have to pass your fire inspection as well in order for you to open up your salon suite or salon so make sure to check that out to get tips and tricks on how you can pass your fire inspection the first go around so you won't get any violations or anything like that and you won't fail so make sure you check that out okay and if you have any other video requests make sure you leave them in the comments okay and i'll see you in the next video bye bye